Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video 4 using the LSP Maternity Actions in Photoshop. This video is a much faster guide for you, um, like a recipe, if you're already familiar with using the LSP Actions. If you haven't already, please do go and watch video 1, which is where I walk you through these actions in depth as a step-by-step, -step, much more detailed tutorial. Okay, so let's get started with this image. This is by, again, the one and only amazing Anna Brandt, and it's simply beautiful. This image is already beautiful straight out of camera, um, so I'm just going to play the balance image action a little bit, but I think I'm going to need to take the opacity right the way down because it already is pretty beautifully balanced. And when you're happy, you can just flatten. Okay, so now I'm going to play the perfect skin base. What this does um, is it sets up um, a separate layer for you to paint over the skin with. This gives a lovely, smooth, um, slightly blemish-free tone to the skin with a natural feel to it so it's not over edited at all. I'd avoid painting this over any detail areas um, but just wash over the skin any way you wish to calm and add a kind of a beautiful skin foundation and a skin tone to. For example I'm just painting here, I'm just going to turn that off the edge a little bit with a black brush, come back to white and you can really see here how this is editing the skin beautifully um, and blemish free. It will remove these little pores, um, any little areas where the lighting is highlighted but I'm going to leave the lips and the eyelashes and the eyebrows and the hair and everything like that completely intact so we have all the details there and when you're happy you can take a snapshot and flatten down again the before and after okay now I'm going to play the portrait skin this is a heavier um, skin edit that really gives that fine art portrait skin base that a lot of armor cl maternity clients really desire. So this adds a beautiful glowing dewy softness to the skin. Okay, and flatten. Now I'm going to play the makeup bag. This sets up um, five different layers that I can simply go through um, and decide which ones I'd like to paint onto the face. So I'm going to start here with the sharpen um, layer. This can sharpen the eyes, the eyebrows, um, the lashes and the lips. Pop a little bit of lip pop there, perhaps a little bit of brow blush. This is great for accentuating makeup that your client is already wearing. I'm just going to take that one down a little bit there. And flatten. You can add a really healthy dewy glow to the skin. So I've just played the toners here now. I'm just going to calm some of these yellows down just a little bit but I don't want to lose integrity so I'm going to pop a little bit of warmth back in all over. This has just evened out the tones just a touch here. Okay, let's blacken these blacks down as well. Let's give this image a really dark backdrop so I've just played that one. You can see it's a brush as it says on the specialist section there so I'm just brushing this over. Just darkening the backdrop back down again just to bring attention to a client. You can decide how dark you want to go and flatten. Let's just take that off there a little bit. Okay, flatten down. And when it comes to um, smoothing areas of the skin, I like to make a duplicate layer and use patch tool or anything like that. Um, if you have other LSP actions as well, you can use those. So I'm just patching these veins out the way just a little bit super quick. And I'm going to take the opacity down. It's down to personal taste how much um, you do when it comes to removing things like veins and stretch marks and things like that. You can either remove them entirely or you can just minimise entirely up to you. Now I'm just going to uh, resize for Facebook. Oh, <laughs> I hit the landscape resize instead of portrait, but you get the idea. Okay, so now you can add your watermark by going to File, Place, Embedded, or you can use the brush um, to add your watermark, depending on how you like to do this. And when you're done, you can simply save. And this will not save over your original image. Thanks for watching. Bye.